Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome. Today we will discuss the general 2 to the power k minus p fractional factorial design. In fact, we have uh, discussed on the fractional factorial design you know, in past few lectures and being a very important one, uh, we are trying to give you as much as possible on this fractional factorial design. So far what you have seen, you have seen 2 to the power 3 minus 1, 2 to the power 4 minus 1, 2 to the power 5 minus 1, like 2 to the power 6 minus 2. So, many such fractional, fractional factorial design. 2 to the power 7 minus 3 such fractional factorial dj. So, all those things in one word is 2 to the power k minus p fractional factorial dj. This lecture you can say the generalization of the previous lectures and we assume that after going through this lecture you will be able to relate to the previous fractional factorial design lectures as well as given a fractional factorial uh, design you will be able to uh, construct the design, you will be able to interpret the results of this design. What are the steps in this case? First step is choosing a design. So, what should be the correct or appropriate fractional factorial design, choosing a design. Then second one is once you choose the design, you will run the experiment and get the experimental data, then you will analyze the design, analyze, analyze the experimental data. Okay. And you may find out that there will be situations where even in fractional factorial case also you cannot complete all the 2 to the power k minus p runs in homogeneous condition, single homogeneous condition under such situation you require to employ blocking. So, we will give an idea of blocking in 2 to the power k minus p design. So, these three things I expect to complete within 30 to 40 minutes of time and as most of the basic things are already discussed. So, I will primarily concentrate on the generalized general issues so, and giving you a generalized kind of things formula and explanation. So, that so that it will justify the topic of today's lecture. So, by 2 to the power k minus p fractional we say 1 by 2 to the power p fraction of 2 to the power k dj. So, here few important things is that one is number of generators, number of generators equal to p. Second is number of defining relations, this will be p that is independent, independent from independent gener generators that is number of independent generators plus 2 to the power p minus p minus 1 these are basically the number of generalized interactions, number of generalized 
interactions interactions so what does it mean suppose e, for example my design is 2 to the power 7 minus 3 then what is p p equal to 3 p equal to 3 so number of generator will be 3 okay and what is the number of defining relation that will be 3 plus 2 to the power 3 minus 3 minus 1. How much it is? 2 to the power 3 that means 7. Okay. Suppose your case is 2 to the power 6 minus 2, then P equal to 2. So, number of generator will be here 2 and number of defining relations will be here 2 plus 2 to the power 2 minus 2 plus minus 1. So, 2 2 cancel out that means 3. Okay. So, you have seen earlier suppose if you consider this design P equal to 1 defining relations will be p means 1 plus 2 to the power 1 minus p equal to 1 minus 1. So, this will cancel out. So, it is 1. So, in this manner you have to understand. So, what is the number of generators and number of defining relations. Okay. Now, find that which which uh, gen there, there can be depending on the situations depending on the p value fraction there will be different generators okay so you have to choose the generators in such a manner that you will get the best alias structure that means the minimum alias structure i can tell you for the factors of interest and this is possible when you go for highest possible resolution so that means another one is important one is that resolution. Very important one is resolution, and all of you know that resolution will will be understood from the defining relations. And if you suppose you have seven defining relations, so what is the least number of words? What in which relation? the number of word is the minimum that will be your resolution. So, now let us see a case let you are you are interested to uh, construct to the power 6 minus 2 4 resolution 4 design. Okay. So, your 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 example is 2 to the power 6 minus 2 4 design how do you read it this is 2 to the power to the power 6 minus 2 resolution 4 so how do you construct this design this design you construct you first start with four. there are six factors a B, C, D, E, and F. So, it should be full factorial into the power 4, to the power 4 means 16. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, first you consider 4 factors and develop the basic design here it will be minus plus 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 second one minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus 
थर्ड वन माइनस 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 प्लस 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 माइनस 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 प्लस 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 फोर्थ वन माइनस 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 प्लस 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 ओके सो यू नो दैट इज टू टू दी पावर जे माइनस वन माइनस फॉलोड बाय प्लस एंड दैट विल रिपीट सो दैट सो इट इज माइनस प्लस वन अपटर अनदर दैट इज टू माइनस टू प्लस फोर माइनस फोर प्लस Eight minus eight plus. So that is the basic design. Now you will create generator. So you can write down a equal to a b c e equal to a b c and f equal to let it be b c d. Okay. So a b c will be mul these three column sign will be multiplied and you will get fill up this column and for a fill up this column. So as p equal to two. Here p equal to two, so you have two generators, generators this and generator this. Okay. So what is the uh, defining relation? Defining relation you will get using i equal to if you multiply this with e e that is a b c e. If you multiply this generator with f, you will get b c d f. And they are these are independent generator and they are generalized one. You you will find out A B C E into B C D F. That means what? What is this value? A B and C will be cancelled, so it will be A C A C E F E F. So that is your defining. Relations. So defining relations then equal to I equal to A B C E B C D F A. Sorry, it is A D A D B C is cancel out E F A D E F. Now what is the resolution here? We want resolution four. And you see that in the defining relation, the minimum number of words is four. So resolution equal to four. So that means this is what is chosen here. Now, instead of this, instead of suppose a equal to b c d, if you choose Generators like this, e equal to a b c and f equal to a b c d. So I can say that this is my design one. This and here design two, because you can choose like this. So it is possible that e will be confounded with a b c that interaction, f will be confounded with a b c d that fourth order interactions. Okay, so under such situation, what will happen to I? From here, you will get A B C E. From here, you will get A B C D F, and generalized one, you will get A B C E into A B C D F. What is this? A B C A B C will be squared, and it will be I. So you will get D E F. So that means your your um, defining relation is A B C E equal to A B C D F equal to D E F. Okay. So what is the resolution here? The mean the in the defining relation the the least number of words is three here. So Your resolution is three here. Now, <clears throat> given this situation, which one you will prefer? You will prefer the first one because of resolution four. What is the meaning of resolution three? What is the meaning of resolution four? Okay, 
So, here what happen? Main effects are not aliased with other main effects, but main effects are aliased with two factor interaction effects and two factor interaction with two, with two factor and higher. Here main effects are not interact aliased with main effects and two factor interaction effects, it will be aliased with three factors two factor interactions will be aliased with other two factor interactions here. So, if you employ this you will not able to uniquely estimate the main effects and two factor interaction effect considering higher order interaction effects are other higher order interaction effects are negligible, but if I consider third and higher order interaction negligible here then you are in a position to estimate the main effects, because main effects are not aliased with other main effects and two factor interaction effects. So, as a result uniquely you will be able to estimate the main effects considering this. So, that is why this is a better design. Okay. So, but many a time what happen you will find out that only resolution is not sufficient enough. For example, you consider 2 to the power 7 minus 2 resolution 4 design. We are assuming that okay, resolution 4 we fix. Now, under this situation for resolution 4 case, you see how can you generate the design. So, here how many factors are there? 7 factors, 7 factors that means A, B, C, D, E, F and G 4 plus 3 7 factors. So, what is the design you want to choose 2 to the power 7 minus 2 4 resolution design. So, 7 minus 2 what is P? P equal to 2. So, your how many generators you needed? Generators needed is 2. So, as it is 2 to the power 7 minus 2, what is happening? We have 7 factors A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Our design is 2 to the power 7 minus 2, 4 resolution, 2 generators. So, it will be first basic design contents, basic design contents 2 to the power 5 runs. So, A first 5 factors B, C, D and E what will happen 1, 2 like this up to 32 your basic design A, B, C, D and E. Now, you have to choose A F equal to and G equal to. So, there are plenty of options you can choose some you can it is it is it is uh, desirable that the this will be at higher order interactions confounded with higher order interactions. So, 3 and more are considered to be higher order interactions. So, you can you can generate A f by interacting with this A B C or confounding with A B C G also confounding with B C D. So, that means, let us create 3 design suppose design A where E equal to is confounded with A B C e, not E F and G with B C D. Okay. Second one let design B. Design B you can do it is A B C and A D E F with A B C G with A D E another design design C is basically you can go for four fact four way interaction that confounded with four way interactions a b c d and a b d e. So, <coughs> if you cho choose this design and you find out what is the resolution choose this design, find out the resolution, choose this design, find out the resolution. 
all those cases you will be your resolution will be 4. For example, this you have seen for example, this one you consider here I will be A, B, C, D, F, I will be A, B, D, E, G and I will be A, B, C, D, F into A, B, D, E, G. So, A, B, A, B will go, D will go. So, that means C will be there, this, 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 this and this. So, C, E, F, G. So, defining relation is A, B, C, D, F equal to A, B, D, E, G equal to C, E, F, G. So, this one is in minimum word defining relation which is 4. So, resolution is 4. So, now here also similarly you can prove this is 4, this is 4. Now, question is that will all the design gives you the similar results or you in some cases it is better. So, that is what is to be discussed. Now, go back to the slides again. You see first design, second design and third design. Here a, here you see that all the defining relations only four words here two four words one five words here two five words and one four words I think here one is six words in the second one. Now, once you know the de defining relations you are in a position to find out the aliases. So, using design A, you are get, going to get this many aliases for two factor interaction, assuming that the three, three and higher order interactions are 0. In if you go for design B, you are getting little better because here number of aliases for two factor interactions are little less. If you go for design C, you see that you are getting much less aliased because C E F G, C F E G and C G E F. Now, what happen if we just compare this three design with reference to word length that is the defining relations as well as with reference to num minimum word length word. You see that for A it is 444 four, four length minimum length word is 3 for B it is minimum length word is 2 and for C minimum length word is 1. So, 4 is the minimum length word. Now, the design which is having the minimum length word least minimum length word this is known as minimum aberration design. So, this minimum aberration design is the best one. Here A is having the most extensive aliasing and C is having the least aliasing relationships and C is having the minimum number of length words, mini, uh, least number of minimum length words and C is the minimum aberration design. Now, the advantage of minimum aberration design is minimum aberration design with resolution R ensures minimum number of main effects are aliased with interaction of order R minus 1 and minimum number of 2 OA interaction effects are aliased with interactions of the order R minus 2 and so forth. What does it mean? Our example is 2 to the power 7 minus 2. Okay. So, if you see if you take design C this is our minimum aberration design. So, what is saying that? So, what is the resolution R equal to 4 here. So, this says that that the image that main effects alias with R minus 1 means 4 minus 1 3 in this case 
the main effect the minimum number of main effects will be aliased with r minus 1 but three third order interactions. Similarly, if you go for the second order interactions this also r minus 2 that means second order interaction. So, minimum number of second order aliased interaction aliased with another other second order interaction. So, that is what is you will be getting. So, uh, that is known as minimum aberration design and very very important. So, essentially what happened you will see the uh, resolution for choosing a design and another one is that what is basically the minimum aberration design MAD. Alias structure plays a significant role alias structure. Same resolution with different alias structure is possible. So, resolution if it is same then see the alias structure which is giving you the least alias structure ok and also finally, choose the in this case finally, choose the minimum aberration design. So, here a table is shown where a different kinds of uh, to the power k minus p designs are given number of factors k. So, it start from 3 to I think 15 this much it is given and then what are the possible fractions or fractional factorial that is possible it is given. For example, if I consider number of factors 7 then you see that the possible fractional factorial is 2 to the power 7 minus 1 that is 6 7 resolution 2 to the power 7 minus 2 it is 4 resolution 2 to the power 7 minus 3 resolution 4 and 2 to the power 7 minus 4 resolution 3. So, resolution 3, 4, 5, 4 and, uh, and uh, higher resolution is possible. So, if you consider <coughs> here 2 to the power 15, so this is 2 to the power 15 minus 11 resolution 3 with 16 number of runs. So, 15 number of factors with 16 number of runs it is possible. So, we have 15 factors k equal to 16 uh, 15 and number of runs n equal to 16. So, that mean k equal to n minus 1 this type of design is known as saturated design and very popular in uh, screening experiments. Now, how to use this table? I will give you one example. Suppose you are you have seven factors of interest and you are interested to estimate the seven main effects and to get some ideas about the second interaction order interaction effects. Third order and higher order interaction effects are negligible. Let you have process knowledge, you know that this process the third and higher order interactions for the for the controllable factors or the factors of interest are negligible. So, then what will be the best fractional factorial design? So, we are saying that resolution 4 will be minimum requirement. The reason is in resolution 4 main, main effects are not aliased with second order interaction effects, it is aliased with third order interaction effects and, and second order interaction effects are aliased with other second order interaction effects also. But if you go for resolution 3 what will happen that minimum main effects are also aliased with second order interaction effects. So, in that case you cannot estimate the seven main effects uniquely, but if you choose resolution 4 design you will be in a position to uniquely estimate the seven main effects and you have some idea about the second order interaction effects as third and higher order interactions are negligible here. So, then what you will do the previous table what I have shown a portion of this table is shown here. So, we will go for number of factor 7 and there are possible uh, that uh, what are the resolutions for, from 4 resolution 4 point of view two options are available resolution 4 7 minus 2 and 7 minus 3. So, then which one you will choose if you choose resolution 2 to the power 7 minus 2 4 design then you require 16 32 runs. If you choose 7 minus 3 4 resolution 4 design you require 16 runs. 
is will 16 run sufficient uh, other way around 16 run if the less number of runs is always better from experiment point of view will 7 minus 3 4 will give us the minimum requirement let us see this if you go by 7 minus 3 design then these are the efg these are the generators and defining relations there are 1 2 3 4 7 defi defining relations now, if you using these defining relations, you will be able to find out the alias structures. You see that seven main effects are aliased with the third, three third order interactions and, and the second order interactions are aliased in group 3. Okay. So, you can estimate as third order and higher order interactions are negligible. So, you can estimate A, B, C, D, E, F, G uniquely considering that the third order interaction effects are 0 and you, you will see that the alias uh, the interactions are alias the second order interaction alias in 3 that means a b a c a d a e and their aliases some estimates you are getting. So, we can say that this design is satis satisfactory because we want to know some amount of uh, information about the second order interactions and full information about the main effects. So, this design is this design is satisfactory. Now, what will happen if you go for 2 to the power 7 minus 2 resolution 4 design you require 32 runs and there what will happen once you if you find out the uh, this structure alias structure you will find out what that many more second order interactions. Uh, some better uh, information you will get, but as per as the requirement is concerned here it is sufficient. Which one is sufficient? 2 to the power 7 minus 3 resolution for design sufficient to satisfy our condition. Okay. Now, I will explain that the second part is analysis under analysis you first find out the estimate of effect. So, effect i. So, all of you know this is the contrast i divided by to uh, n let it be n by 2 or other way you can write 2 into this by n where n in this case is to the power k minus so, another one may be you will be interested to some square i. So, this will be contrast square contrast i square divided by n. So, these are the things you require to compute. Okay. So, um, once you know the effect and some square what will happen you require some kind of anal another analysis which is known as which are the effects that are significant significant effects. So, what will happen here you will see that. So, you will estimate the effects to the power k minus p minus 1 and their aliases. So, you will estimate to the power k minus p minus 1 and their aliases. This number of effects you will estimate and then you want to know which are the effects significant. The concept is you go for probability plot normal probability plot. normal probability plot which is basically known as half normal sometimes half normal plot. Half normal means what that you take the mod value of the effects. Okay. Another method is known as lens method and we have discussed normal probability plot and we have shown that this is cumulative percentage and this side effect then the effects which are basically along this uh, straight line they are insignificant there will be some effects here and there which may be significant. 
so that is what is our normal probability plot in the length method they will give you some some this is basically subjective because uh, depending on the graph so how what is the distance that is not but only thing we are saying that the, the 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 effects which are away from the straight line they are significant but lens method what it will do it will give you it will give you a sub objective assessment okay so we are not discussing lens method because of paucity of time but you may go for lens method okay under analysis another important thing is projectivity projectivity Okay. So, we have discussed about projectivity also. Let us uh, see the slide. Projectivity if you go for it to the power k minus p fractional factorial design, then this collapses into either a full factorial or a fractional factorial in any subset of R, where R is less than or equal to k minus p of the original factors. What does it mean? it means the approach you are basically talking about 2 to the power 7 minus 2 4 degen let it be. So, then what happen you will you will find out from here 2 to the power 5 degen for some some subset of factors and fraction may be one half of 2 to the power 5 design for other subset of factors. If you consider a 2 to the power 7 minus 3 suppose 4 design. So, here what happened you will get 2 to the power 4 design for some subset of factors and may be one half into 2 to the power 4 design for some other subset of factors. So, there are two subsets which will get that 2 to the power k minus p in this case full full factorial and some will be will be having the fractional of that factorial design. The factors which constant Con comprise the defining relation subset of factor comprising the defining relations those subsets will not be will will not get get the full fa factorial they will get the fractional one and the other subsets which is not in the defining relations they will go for they will get they will have this full factorial kind of things. So, collapses into either a full fractional factorial or fractional factorial so, fractional factorial for subset of factor appearing in the defining relations and full factorial for subset of factors not appearing in the defining relations. So, as we start with this 2 to the power 7 minus 3 4 design. Okay. So, what is the subset of factors total subset we require 4 at a time. So, this will give you 35 subsets. If you see the defining relations, you will get that 7 subsets will, will appear in the defining relations. So, that means 7 subset those factors, those subsets will have 1 by 2 into 2 to the power 4, frax, 4 fractional design and other 28 that means equal to 35 minus 7 these have 2 to the power 4 full factorial design means this will collapse if you take this many subset to the 4 sub to the power 4 that subset 7 25 8 subsets uh, subsets of 4. So, they they will have full to the power 4 factorial design. Okay. So, this is what is given in the slide you see if we consider example 4 to the power 7 minus 3 resolution 4 design number subset of factors is 35 generators we have seen earlier that we have used a b c b c d and G a c d defining relation you see from these three generators you can you can find out seven subset of defining relations 
so a b c b c d f like this 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 creates seven subsets so there are there are another 30 28 subsets so these seven subsets have half fraction of 2 to the power 4 design and another 28 subsets have full 2 to the power 4 design okay so the projectivity part is important one so that mean you are now in a position to know which are the factors having a, in a lower uh, dimension in the four dimensions have full factorial and which are the factors in the four dimension have half fraction of to the power 4 okay then third one which is also very very important is blocking okay blocking so all of you know blocking as i told you that if you go for 2 to the power even even 7 minus suppose we will take 7 minus or 6 minus 2 let it be 6 minus 2 may be resolution 4 design so that means you require 2 to the power 4 means 16 runs so there may be if each run takes lot of time so you may not get that everything the 16 runs can be completed in one shift you may require two shifts or the mat quantity required if it is large so maybe one batch of raw material will not be able to make it possible so you require two batches of raw materials in so that means even in fractional factorial design you adopt you require uh, you may not be able to create the set of homogeneous conditions so that all the experimental runs are possible so there what you have to do you require to go for blocking okay so fractional factorials may be some of the uh, effects will be confounded with blocks okay so under two in two to the power six minus sixteen in case suppose we require eight runs per block suppose sixteen runs we require here and we we require two blocks because our uh, capability is eight per shift or eight per batches of raw material or dependent on level availability of operator is such so then you see if we say this one then uh, this to the power six minus two uh, resolution four design and you know the design there will be two design generators there will be three defining relations and you are getting this alias structure okay so in the defining relation a b c e b c d f and a d f, these three subsets which is having which will be having at the four four fact uh, dimension case four factor case fractional factorial design but rest of the rest of the your that four um, subsets they will be having your full factorial design that means full factorial to the power 4 design so that is what is the concept okay so now now here what happened so you have to choose the block so so if you see the third order interactions suppose abc or acd suppose if you choose abd or any of it aliases to be blocked with the blocking variable uh, then what will happen you can you can create two blocks suppose if you if you if you block abd hmm, abd uh, uh, or confound abd with blocks then you will be getting this structure so block one will go for this because you will take abd plus abd minus so from the design you have to find out the abd column and then you will be having all minus then there will be all 8 plus so this will go to may let it be block 1 and this will go to let it be block 2 okay so that's the way you have done blocking in uh, earlier cases the same thing you have just you have to find out the appropriate interactions to be compounded here in this case abd or any of its uh, aliases can be uh, blocked so absolutely uh, no no problem here so so this is what is your concept of blocking here 
So, in general the concept of blocking is same that when there are uh, you have paucity of material to say experiment in homogeneous condition, paucity of operator, paucity of time you require to block. Block what? You require to have uh, a, uh, a smaller a fraction of experiment will be conducted under a certain homogeneous condition and other fraction in the another homogeneous condition and in order to get the meaningful results. So, you require to blow uh, to blow uh, to confound certain inter certain higher order interactions with the blocks and and then choose that which are the experiment to be run in first block which are the experiment to be run in the second block or or so forth. Okay. So, this is what is our blocking. So, we have discussed uh, a very precisely the 2 to the power k minus p fraction, fractional factorial design. I said that choosing a design is very important. Here one of the issue is resolution that is a very important one that alias structure, alias structure and this will ultimately lead to minimum aberrated design. So, this, this, this is the best one the reason is it will give you uh, better uh, alias structure. Hmm. And then you have have effect estimate you have some square that using contrast you do it okay. and then do not forget the concept of blocking also this is also very very important. In addition you must know p number of generators that number of defining relations okay, and how to compute resolution. So, these are very very important resolution and projectivity is another concept which we have discussed here projectivity projectivity is another concept which we have discussed this also a very very valuable information for experimental design thank you very much